long have you been working at Virginia? Let's we'll start with that. Started September 20th, 2021. 2021? So about two years? Almost two years. Almost yeah. two years here? All right. Have you worked for other trucking companies before coming here? Yeah. What's different about them compared to Virginia? What do you like about it here? What's made you stay? I feel comfortable here. Mm -hmm. I'm comfortable. I'm at peace. I make good money. I good benefits. My dispatches are everything. Mm -hmm. You know, um, my daughter was sick for a while and dispatch constantly kept in communication. How's my daughter? Really? You know, little things that count. Plus, you kind of working for a man that's similar to you in a sense, mm -hmm. you know, and to see what he built and how he built it. Mm -hmm. Like, how can you not respect that? Right, exactly. You know, I'd rather, I'd rather work with somebody like that. You know, I could just walk up to him, have a conversation with him. Like, like a friend, you know what I mean? When right. you talk to him, it's like not even right. employee to boss relationship. It's just friend right. to friend. I understand sometimes, you know, you're the CEO owner, mm -hmm. you got, you have to crack down and be strict at times, but for the most part, he's still a driver. Yeah, he's he is. Of, he's one of us, so yep. he wouldn't he wouldn't ask us to do something he hasn't done himself. That is true. That is so true. How can you not respect that? Right. Yeah. Um, so going back to your daughter, um, what's how how do you balance your home life with with being out on the road for long periods? It was tough at first. Um, they kind of just got used to it. Mm -hmm. um, now when I come home, you know. I just dedicate all my time to them. My, my phone doesn't exist to the world when I'm home. And that's mainly because of that. Um, but then I, they weren't used to me going out all the time. They used to leave, they used to be leaving five o'clock, six o'clock in the morning, getting home, three o'clock, mm -hmm. depending what I was doing for work. And um, now it's just a little different, but it makes it easier. Video cameras now and- FaceTime, things FaceTime. like that, yep. yep. So it makes it a lot easier. And when I do need to come home a little early or I have to skip out on the road job or something, my dispatch is understanding. Because I go out on the road, I'm never I'm never hesitant to go. Right. So, and when I really can't go, I ask for some time home and they, they let me stay home for a few weeks and then let me, I'll tell them when I'm ready to go back out. Right. So when you do actually get home, what do you, what do, you do with your family? It could be a variety of things. I'm, I'm very... Uh, I just get up and go. Yeah. Like, let's just get up and let's just go do this. I don't, I don't like making plans because I feel like plans always fall through. That is true. Kind of that is true. I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of impulsive. Let's just, let's just get up and go. You know what? I'm going to go to New York. Let's go to New York. Hey. Let's go see the uh, Statue of Liberty or something. You know, I don't know. That's cool, let's, though. Let's go watch some plans. Go to kind of leaves room for pizza. surprise. Yeah. You don't really know what you're expecting. Right. So that's kind of cool. I mean, we saw that you got a new family member added. Unexpected as well. Kind of just get up and go, <laughs> literally, uh, heat of the moment. My mom did the same thing with uh, our family dog. She just went to a pet store one day and walked out with him. Yeah, and that she, was it. <laughs> you know, all, all signs were pointing to get her. You know, she she yep. she born on my mother's birthday. It was the color that we wanted, and you know, the wife saw her, and fell in love with her, and I'm not gonna say no to that. You said it's a Frenchie, right? Frenchie. Yeah. Ah, so cute. Yeah. How do you balance training this puppy if you're not home? Do you um, right now we monitor her, mm -hmm. um, but I, I honestly have no idea. <laughs> not yet. It, it, it hasn't been. It, it'll be a week on Saturday. And, yeah, um, it's, it's new. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, the kids are putting in their part. You know, my son especially. He's uh, he stepped up a lot, and uh, he's trying to help train her. And How old are your like kids? That. Nine and five. Nine and five. About to be ten and six. Is your son the older, older yeah. brother? Yeah. All right. That's older, good though. Older protective brother. <laughs> you can look after her while you're not home. Yeah, she's five, going on fifteen. She thinks she's a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you like to do outside of auto hauling? Hobbies. I've always been a car guy. Car guy. Yeah. As of, as of late, I haven't been really into it. I've been more focused on the family, but mm -hmm. you know, sense. I've always been car guy um you know it's so like car shows things like that car or shows, mainly racing mainly racing car no, racing okay no, no, no. so what's the craziest thing that you've seen while on the road <laughs> what don't you see while on the road because <laughs> i think uh yeah i don't know it's just so, so there's much. gotta be something I think honestly, when I first started at Virginia, within the first few months, I'm on my way down with a, a little CarMax from uh, what was it? from Norwood, Massachusetts to 
North Carolina, Charlotte, and I'm in New Jersey. At this point in time, it's a four lane highway, but we're allowed in the third left lane to pass. Yep. And then you have the HOV lane, which is technically just for buses, people, you know, multiple people in the car and the left and the third left lane is technically the left lane at this point, mm -hmm. but we're still allowed in it for just to pass. So I'm in there I'm getting past the traffic, wondering why everybody's just so slow out of nowhere. The car just stopped in the middle of the highway. Thankfully, I was going slow enough. Yeah, I was able to stop. I'm thinking, you know, the guy is probably texting or something, guy, girl, whatever. And I ended up pulling my brakes on the highway. I get out. It was passed out in the car. I bang on the window, nearly breaking it. He wakes up, takes off the car. The dude passed out foot still on the brake, not even in park. As soon as he got up, he took off. And I'm like, okay, that was the first sign that <laughs> Jersey's a interesting oh, state. Yeah. You know you're So you're newer. familiar with the turnpike then. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't even like driving on the turnpike with my tiny little Toyota. I can't even imagine like an 18 wheeler. Doesn't help, doesn't help that they make the tolls super, super like narrow. skinny. Yeah, yeah. narrow. And that's always a fun time. Like, hey, yeah, am I gonna hit a mirror today? For me, not. it's the merge. No one wants to let you go. So you're sitting here playing chicken. Yeah. How long have you been a truck driver, I guess? Um, Because I assume you didn't start with auto hauling. Actually, yeah. You well, did? For the most part. Um, So 2011 is when I started the journey. Okay. Never used it up until four years ago. Um, I went to work for Pepsi for a little bit, got some driving in. Yep. Um, and then uh, I just, I wasn't a big fan of the whole union thing. Yeah. And it was just too many politics. Mm -hmm. And I, I left and I got right into car hauling. So the majority of my tenure as a mm -hmm. car hauler, I mean, as a truck driver has been car hauling. That's so, pretty cool though, honestly. You have a lot of experience then, it sounds. Yeah, you, yeah. Asked, me, you asked me to back up a truck into a dock. I'll probably fail a thousand times. Really? The first, the first, the first few times, yeah. I've seen those videos on TikTok of those trucks perfectly aligning within like this narrow, narrow like yeah. entryway. Well, they I, do it perfectly. I've always been strategic because I'm like, you know, a few years ago I, I told the wife because I, I worked at a dealership for a while, mm -hmm. you know, um, and I told the wife I'm not happy here. I haven't been. I've been here for what five, six years, and. I want to find something I could, I could be more comfortable with, something that allows me to come home in a good mood still. Mm -hmm. So I told him I'm going to take a couple of years. I'm going to jump a little bit from place to place to yep. see it until I find something I like. And car hauling, I just I stuck to it. Why? Because I got to play with the new toys, you know, the older toys too. Yep. And I, it's, I haven't worked in, in the four years I've been doing it. That's, why, that's, how I, that's how I see it. I haven't worked. I get up. It's my choice to get up at two or three o'clock in the morning, yep. start early. Nobody's forcing me to do so. Mm -hmm. And I enjoy it. I don't have to deal with anybody but my dispatcher and for the most part. And, you know, I don't have to have somebody over my shoulder. Dispatch, like, I'll, I'll need a day off. And, you know, instead of using a day, I'll say, hey, I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna take X day off if that's okay. I usually tell them well in advance though. And I'll make it up on the weekend. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's no work on the weekend. And not, not enough work for the weekend. I mean, and they asked me, you we can do it on the weekend or you can save it for the week. Right. You know, and I'm like, all right, that's fine. But what I what they told me before was, I know you're good for it. You know, meaning there'll be a day or two I'll do that extra load. Mm -hmm. I'll spend the, I'll have that extra long day just to kind of level out. Right. You know, because even when it's slow locally, I mean, at that point, just got to kind of bite the bullet. But you mostly do local work, correct? More, um, more northeast kind of stuff or have you been going out a little bit further no i i'm it's actually the other way around oh okay. i do more road work and okay. on, a, on occasion i feel like just coming home every day for like a couple okay. weeks and so it's cool you have that option if, yeah if you know the workload allows it and where right. you're picking up the vehicles that's another thing you were just the, in buffalo right yeah just got back yesterday and that's i mean uh, things plans change but that's the thing with on the road everybody mm -hmm. when people call me and ask me hey i want to go on the road for the first time or something like that or I've never really been out on the road. My first thing is, is I tell them, don't make any promises at home. Just tell them, you know, like I tell my wife, I plan on being home X day. Yep. I plan on it. Mm -hmm. But if I'm out on the road and let's say a special move pops up and I'm in the area and they offer it to me, well, I'm, I'm not going to say no to, to a paycheck. Right, exactly. You know, 
at the end of the day, it's more money in my pocket. It's still going to route me in a direction to another yard mm -hmm. that's going to get me home. But sometimes, like, when you're doing that, like, yeah, you're not as home for, like, as long as maybe you want to be. Yeah. But you're also getting that extra income so that way you can you can do more of the things that you want to do when you right. are home. Right. And so that way you can actually enjoy those moments with your kids, your wife, and, right. like, anybody. Right. Anyone in your family. And, like, that's, like, the most important part. Not everywhere else. No. You know, my sister works for an airline. She works for American Airlines. So she works out of Boston. She wanted to go temporarily to Puerto Rico for a few months. And she couldn't because she had to sign a contract that she was going to do that for a year. All she needed was three months. You know, I, again, you don't get that everywhere. No, you don't. I have that option here because I'm still being productive. Exactly. And, like, that's, like, the best part. And, like, I think, like, even though, like, obviously you can't promise to get someone home exactly when they need to get home nor right. should they be promised that because things can happen breakdowns right. resets like you know what i mean like they do their best to try yeah. and get you where you need to be when you need to be there like i know around the holidays and stuff like that that's you know mm. they have yeah. they ever really gotten you home when you needed to get home oh they get me home they usually try to get us home uh so if there's a, if the holiday falls on a saturday they usually try to have us home by thursday okay you know they, they say Thursday because they know we might be going into Friday. Mm -hmm. So where are you headed off to after this? Do you I'm have actually a... uh, I'm actually headed home. Uh, headed home? Yeah, it's a it's a PM day for me, but again, I gotta watch, look over the new pup, and you know I just dropped my truck off for a PM today. Cool. All I'll right. Be, I'll be back later to pick up my truck. You should do it. We will uh we will end this here. And yeah, but thank you for coming on. I appreciate it.